Hi Libra, this is Shah and I'm sorry about the lighting but um, I am uploading, I've already uploaded six videos but you are the third one that was the highest in the likes so that's why you're getting third place and that's why I have to do it tonight um, before I go to bed and I'll just take my time so it will be just as good as any other reading but my word is my word so welcome back to the channel if you're a cyber angel and welcome if you're new please subscribe and hit the bell on like and all then you'll be notified when I go live as I go live three times a week Monday Wednesday and Friday unless something comes in between you might have heard or noticed that there is a competition started so I hope you will join in and in two weeks time I will go live and uh, I would love to interact with all my cyber angels and viewers um, and see how uh, they are going getting on with their vision board and how they are managing or whether they've got any issues or questions with regard to the vision board so if you are joining in the competition and going for the chance to win the Shadowland deck then uh, or the vice versa or a free reading that's the third place um, then great stuff I'm all the merrier and I hope you will enjoy it if you ha didn't know there was a competition until the end of August you have the time to experience and make your vision board etc uh, etc et go and have a look at the video I hope you all have enjoyed the seven month forecast the update on the yearlies and um, the last couple of weeks the readings and the romance readings I've had a beautiful reaction on the romance readings so uh, I don't know whether you just want to hear or see the romance cards leave a reaction not just alone the likes but you can see you can get third place if you club together okay so keep on sharing and liking the video and join us in the live sessions as I give away free cards and I answer questions that are donated uh, sub supported by donations which is a super chat or a super sticker I'm using the shadow lands in this reading and the mirror truth Lenamon and the white wish tarot and the angel feather tarot now this is the only the big arcana and um, I'm using that in the meaning of the card and which uh, zodiac sign it represents also um, the last episode of the witches series has just uh, gone uh, into air so uh, Wendy and I will be back with new things in the autumn until then I'm on my own <laughs> but I'm with my cyber angels and my viewers so let's get started Libra so if you would like to have a one-on-one -on -one reading sometime during now and the end of August or any time for that matter have a look below this video um, there you will find the information if you would like to leave a donation thank you very much it's very much appreciated it will go back into the channel and we'll get more decks or more things organized there will be more things happening in the autumn as in the summer it is pretty quiet um, nobody is a loser in the competition because you're making a vision board and you can maintain using it it will lighten the load or empty your head as you put all your ideas wishes goals onto the vision board and I thought it would be a nice thing to do and I'm interested in all your uh, views wishes uh, suggestions so if you've got a nice idea for a competition come on and let me know okay and you can also click in the little white round circle in the right hand side of the screen so let's get started with your reading this is the um, spread that I use but I only use one sort of cards uh, 
either Tarot or Lenormand. I It all depends what I'm guided to do. Um, this is the nine card spread and I will only do um, uh, skim it because I will not go totally in all into depth in what I do in a, a one to one reading, an extended reading. I will just be u using the center card um, which is usually the fifth card, the all over energy. That's the querent. You can take it either as you or you can take it as the overall energy of the week. This is Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday and I'm taking these cards um, they will be clarifying either the Lenormand or vice versa see how they interact each corner has three cards okay and then we have these two cards so let's get started Libra you've got the Nutty Housewife I call in this deck I call it the Nutty Housewife it is in fact the Magician okay the magician and it just looks like somebody with rubber gloves on <laughs> and a pink apron well the ma magician is number one so there is a new be beginning but you'll have to come into action and do it yourself because it's not going to happen by itself but you've got all the utensils talents gifts to make it happen okay so you might be juggling things around but you can make it happen this new beginning that you've been longing or wishing for now um, that is you so I would say if you're sitting across me or if I'm on uh, YouTube messenger or uh, Skype I would say well this is you and uh, you have to come into action to make this beginning ha uh, started this new beginning not only that but it also means uh, <coughs> that you might meet an Aries or a Gemini as the magician also represents Gemini and because they do all a lot of things all at once okay and Aries they're also very active um, and of course um, I'll have to say here stay on the straight and narrow be playful but don't um, make any illusions then you won't uh, or don't get it don't have any illusions otherwise you will have disillusions or you will be disilluded you will be disappointed so stay get be open and get the information that you need uh, for this new beginning so that is the message there now there might be things on offer and you're not seeing it that they're on offer this is the four of cups you can see the cups all around him and he's thinking but he's not opening his eyes because he's asleep here the cat he's not focusing what is happening around him so open open your eyes and uh, uh, open your eyes and look around take off those blinkers okay um, otherwise you will not um, notice what is happening uh, around you so we're going that is on Monday so Monday is a new start of the week and a new day of the week so get those blinkers off and see what is happening around you now on Wednesday you have the Six of Cups somebody from the past might be coming back and might be bringing you a gift you might join in in a tea party with old friends you might also be reminiscing uh, or mem remembering old memories of the past days were, that were, have gone most probably in your younger days and on Friday you have the five of swords you're not feeling really well uh, you're not comfortable in your skin perhaps some things aren't happening because um, you don't feel right about something something is not clear perhaps somebody has given you a, a, 
an, an illusion and you're disillusioned with the way they act and this could create disagreements or arguments and this is the five of swords walk away from other people's drama for goodness sake because nobody is the winner here nobody will be the winner just hold up your hands and say talk to the hand come back when you've calmed down now this could be with the Gemini or an Aries and here you've got temperance so that's an other fire sign and that is Sagittarius okay but you're trying to keep balanced with perhaps between your heart and mind um, actually you are in balance but now you are feeling out of whack okay and you are trying to readjust because you don't feel comfortable in your skin that's because you haven't been focusing on what's happening around you perhaps you've missed the punchline or the cue and that has brought you out of balance that is at the weekend now you've got 14 again a 5 so you've got two fives so you've got a double number which is an angel number so make sure that you get um, ask your angels for help and get back into balance either heart and mind or work and home or you've been partying too much so this could be uh, getting back into balance with the normal way of life now we're going on to this card and that is the lady there might be a lady that is a Sagittarius an Aries or a Gemini and uh, you might be meeting up with her she might be an old schoolmate or a kindergarten friend and she might be coming back into your life if you are not meeting a lady then it could be you that you are taking care of yourself because the lady's talents or gifts are love passion nurturing caring sensuality and sexuality beautifying yourself taking care of yourself so you will be taking care of yourself there's a lot going around in your head though look at all these houses i see them as filing cabinets you're putting a lot away in filing cabinets storing them in your memory so that is why you might be thinking about the past about the good memories just enjoy this moment and look at what you have not at what you don't have so that you can carry on and do get this new start going you've got the key you hold the key you're the magician so you can make it happen okay now you've got number 29 which becomes a uh, number 11 the angels have your back and you have the ace of swords the ace of spades so this means a new study victory new ideas okay let those ideas out and don't and you can file them away but don't tell them to anybody but let them out make those new ideas bring them into life bring them into practice okay so you might meet a Gemini again and or a Libra or a Cancer because you've got the ace the beginning of new communications with somebody from the past perhaps it's new ideas perhaps you definitely have a victory especially if you're in a judicial situation uh, you'll have you, you'll have victory it could be a new study as well enhancing your wisdom so that is not what you're seeing you that you're not seeing your opportunities that you have to nurture yourself that there is a new start that your ideas can work and come to fruition perhaps in a partnership with an old friend which is a Sagittarius that you can balance your ideas and the theory and the practice perhaps you might start a new study and learn how to balance things practice and theory now you have the rods and the rods is also 11 so you've got 11 11 so you've got a double number again the angels have your back and this is the page jack jack of 
uh, ones of ones so the page of ones this could be the temperance uh, person uh, or a Leo uh, could come in and bring you news but don't forget Aries that's the magician so you've got the three you've got the three ones on the table and the three of uh, air and particularly Gemini okay so you are getting news from somebody young this could be about work this could be about hobby because the ones are uh, hobby work creativity passion could also be about passion okay know your boundaries and let them know your let the other know and find out what the other ones boundaries is and let them know what your boundaries are now perhaps you didn't see it coming that somebody was sending you a love letter or a letter of passion Ooh, magic is happening passion fire be careful you don't get burnt out it could be somebody from the past that could be a reconciliation perhaps if you have been together before now we're going to this corner and you've got the Sun this Sun is 31 this relationship or this job or career could be a permanent one or one for a very long time because it's built on a proper foundations number 31 becomes a four and you have the ace of uh, rods I think let's have a look I can't yes you have the ace of diamonds and that is uh, a new job a new home a new passion something that could be a new hobby so you might be started much starting a job your own business turning your hobby into work you've got the Sun so that means Leo you're in the spotlight somebody has an eye on you this could be a Leo or your boss bringing you a promotion or giving you a promotion that could be the news but you did have an argument with somebody that's what the rods are meaning as well but it's short-lived perhaps you had a disagreement with your boss or your employer um, about a wage rise that you wanted an increase because the COVID um, uh, has made everything so expensive now and he didn't agree with it and blah 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 because he had a everything is expensive so he knows what you're talking about or you could go from passion into a fully fledged relationship this could be marriage engagement celebrations a birth of a child hearing of a birth of a child or a project okay you could be traveling or moving home you could be going to a warm country awesome now you might disagree you you do have two cards with disagreements so if you are hooked up or if you are having uh, having a passionate relationship with somebody you might want to get married and they don't so that could have been the argument or the disagreement so walk away for it and try again at a later date because it's in the books or in the cards that it can happen okay okay right so you're in you might need more information because the Sun also illuminates uh, to keep the balance you need more information to keep this passion going in and get it into a relationship you have the talents to make it happen but you need the right information to push the right buttons so that your partner will agree and will f not only fall in love with you but love you for the long term now we have the dog whatever your partner is I think this is your partner but it could be a friend from the past or a lady she is very loyal and trustworthy okay you've got the dog and this is the ten of hearts so there is an ending and a new beginning so there could be an ending of just a passion burning passion it will become love it will go up to the next level and the ten of hearts is ultimate love and pa a passion and nurturing happy families coming together reunions like I said somebody from the past 
could be somebody, not only a friend, but it could be somebody from the family. But somebody might not be totally agreeing, I don't want that person here because they hurt me in the past. And I would say, forgive. Forgive. You can't forget, but forgive. Okay? You don't know what they have been through. It's very difficult. But try to have put that door open. Forgive. You stand above it. You know they can't hurt you because you've got all the talents to put, um, in within you and around you to protect you, especially if you have a beautiful partner next to you. They might be jealous because they haven't got it, because they are always the ones that are provoking arguments or whatever. They might just be jealous. They can't get the balance. Okay, that is that bit of reading. And now you have the angel card. And the angel card is the grey angel feather. The answer is maybe. The angels acknowledge your question but are unable to give you a definite answer at this time. Like I said, somebody might not want to at this moment. Um, you can make it happen but you, have, you because you've got the two fives, you've got two elevens. Where's the other five? Now I forgot it. Where's the other five? You've got the two uh, the, the two argument cards or disagreement cards and you've got 11 here and you have 4-4 four, four here so you have a lot of double numbers okay and you have uh, let's have a look two aces so there is a new beginning and the ace the, uh, of the sun is you can make it happen going to the next level Okay, and there is, uh, this comes up in my mind, and it might not resonate with you, but it is also a little bit of humor. And <laughs> when a lady says maybe, uh, when a lady says uh, no, she means maybe. If the lady says maybe, it means yes. If it's yes, then she's no lady. Just remember that. How be careful how you answer a question. That is the message here. Because somebody else can interpret a no as a maybe and a maybe as a yes. That is the lesson of this little poem that came up in my mind. Nothing meant towards ladies, but it is a well-known po well poem and it, it just listen. How do you say it? Don't be clear, be clear, don't create any illusions. So this is the strong message. Be clear, don't create more illusions or illusions. You have the wheel of fortune. The wheel of fortune is that something comes round full circle. What goes up must come down. What goes round goes round. This is my karma card. If somebody has done you wrong, they will get it back threefold. If you if they've done right, they'll get it back threefold. The same for you. Okay. And usually you see all the four elements in the on the wheel of fortune. So the wheel of fortune usually represents um, the bull because there is usually a bull on the uh, on the uh, wheel of fortune, and you uh, it all it has an eagle, uh, an eagle on the wheel uh, on the uh, the wheel of fortune, and that is Gemini, I think. Um, I just have to think about that. Sometimes it is so much to think that like I stumble over my words. But you usually have the bull, which is Earth, and that is Taurus. And then you have um, Aquarius, which is the man, which is depicted in the four corners. And uh, in some decks it is the eagle, and that is... Um, 
or is that the world card? I get, um, well, all decks are different, but because the the world at uh, the wheel of fortune is a lot like the world card, um, no, you don't see the four elements, but it does. Uh, to me, it it does. So the that is Aquarius is quite important, and the Taurus and the Leo, which represents the fire sign and a uh, Scorpio as the water sign but the, I'm getting this card mixed up with the uh, world card because it's circular okay but it also represents travel or moving home and the world so the take this card like the world card and take the four signs and we do I did say uh, Aquarius Taurus and uh, we, uh, what else did I say? Um, Scorpio, and um, gosh, I can never remember Leo, and that is the Leo card. So Leo is quite prominent in the deck. I love these cards because they're beautiful as tattoos. If you're a tattoo freak, this is these cards are beautiful. I've done a review on these cards. Have a look at the review. Uh, Libra. I hope you've enjoyed this reading. Take care and hope to see you in the life on Monday, Wednesday and Friday. Please share and like and the most likes they will be the first ones. That's why you are number three. Gemini was the highest and Capricorn was the second. You are number three. So if you want to be number one keep on hitting those thumbs up and likes. Take care and please be safe and be blessed.